How you doing everybody? This is Mike from Lumen Lights and this is the introductory and tutorial video for the Lumen Lights AR Pro 10. Uh, AR meaning architectural. This is part of our architectural lighting product line. Uh, this, the AR series is the indoor line of architectural lighting because it is not weatherproof. If you want weatherproof, you want to check out our Thunder Blast series. Uh, but like the Thunder Blast series, the AR series has a solid aluminum housing uh, with a very deep heat sink vein. So this is a great heat sink. This light is totally fanless, which means it's completely quiet and noiseless, which is great in quiet settings like churches or for TV production. Uh, the AR. Uh, 10. The 10 stands for the number of bulbs, as we can see here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 bulbs. Each bulb is a four color chip, red, green, blue, and white. Uh, the unit is great, again, for architectural installs. The colors and the bulbs match the Thunder Blast series, so you can get a consistent look, not only in the housing, but the output of the light. Uh, let's look, turn, turn this around and look at the back. You have your four button LCD push button display. You have a safety uh, mount here for a safety cable for permanent installation. You have your DMX in, your DMX out, your power in, power out, IEC. You have your scissor or bifold bracket with pre drilled holes so this can be hung or used in a floor standing position. Uh, as far as DMX modes, you have three DMX modes for this. You have four channel mode, which will give you control of the red, green, blue, and white. You have six channel mode, which gives you the red, green, blue, white, dimmer, and strobe. And then you have eight channel mode, which includes the red, green, blue, white, master dimmer, strobe, access to built-in programs like auto jump and auto fade, and the eighth channel, which controls the speed of those built-in auto jump and auto fade programs. So next up we're going to power up the light and show you some of the features and walk you through the menus. Alright, we have the AR Pro 10 powered up now and if you look at the menu button switches here we have uh, they're labeled mode, setup, up and down. Basically mode is to switch between the different uh, categories or uh, uh, menus. Setup is to enter and up and down is to change the settings. So if we press this the first time we see our DMX address. We can go up or down and once you get on the channel you want you can just leave that there. Hit the setup button again to enter and see what channel mode you're in and again you can select four channel mode, uh, six channel mode, an 8 channel mode and if you want to put an 8 channel mode that's it you don't have to hit the setup button again it's all set to go. Pressing the menu button button, we will advance again now to the next menu. Uh, slave mode if you're using one of these as a master or if you're hooking these up to a controller and you want to put everything in slave mode or if you're using these with wireless transmitter receivers you want to have them in slave mode so if they lose wireless signal they don't pick up a random signal and start flashing or blinking or doing random things. They'll just turn off uh, the output of the front LEDs until they get a signal. After slave mode, pressing the menu button again advances us to sound active mode. Uh, we have built in sound active mode uh, with a built in microphone. If you hit the setup button, you can set the uh, sound units or the sensitivity of the sound active mode, either going down or going up and the lower you go, the less sensitive it is, zero turns it off, and the higher you go, the more sensitive it becomes. Hitting the menu button again, we have next menu is our color menu. Hitting the setup button takes you into the individual colors, which you can turn on or off or adjust to make custom colors. So I can take my red and use the down button to lower the value or 255 I can go up the next step which would actually turn the red off to zero. Let's put that back to 255. Hit the setup button again and we'll advance you to the next color which is green, the next color which is blue, and the next color which is white. 
and back to code with the press of the menu button again. The next menu is, excuse me, if we hit the menu button to get out of that, the next menu is the program menu. And we have 10 programs in here, uh, starting with number one, which is all white. Hitting the setup button on a program will take you into what you can adjust on it. So program one is red, green, blue, which makes white. And if I hit the setup button, I can see F500, which is the flash. Uh, or the strobe, flash and strobe, we're at zero. As I go up, it'll start flashing, and as the number increases, it flashes faster and faster and faster to our maximum value, which would be, oops, I just passed it, 99. Uh, hit the setup menu again, we'll take us out of that. Using the upper, arrow, the upper down arrow button keys, we can go into our next program. And the different programs will do different things. Program two is a fade between colors. Program three is another fade between colors. And again, going into the menu button on these programs will allow you to change the speed. And the flash, or the strobe. So that's our program, uh, built-in programs. And if we hit the menu button again, next up is the auto menu. And auto basically just means it fades or jumps from color to color. And if we hit the setup menu button again, nothing happens because the auto is preset. So basically it's just gonna do fades from one color to color at this preset speed. Hitting our menu button again brings us back to DMX. So those are the built-in uh, programs and menus and how to navigate through them. Uh, when you're in DMX mode, you can look at the DMX chart. Again, I've outlined what the various channels are and what they control. And again, this is the Lumen Lights AR Pro 10 RGBW. And uh, it is two watts per color. So we're looking at eight watts per bulb. For more information, contact us at lumenlights.com.